What's up, tubers? So, we looked at the Big Buddy heater last time because we were talking about refilling these little one-pound propane bottles that it uses. And I had a few guys tell me in the comments that you could add a hose to it for a 20-pound bottle, which I already knew. I had already ordered a hose, actually. But they were talking about a setup that uses a hose and a filter and actually attaches where the one pound bottles go. Well, I'm going about it a little differently. The, these little heaters are nice. It's $134 right now on Amazon. It's 4,000, 9,000, and 18,000 BTU, low, medium, and high. But if you look right up inside of here on this side, there's a quick connect fitting in there. Mr. Heater thought of this already. And I bought the hose that goes from a 20 pound bottle straight into that quick connect. So what I'm going to do, and I'll throw a link down in the description to the heater as well as to the hose, but here's the bottle. You see there's a regulator right there. It's got the big knurled plastic screws onto the outside. And here's the quick connect. Pretty straightforward, just a regular old quick connect. So I'm going to pull out just a little bit of hose here. I haven't tried this yet, so we're going to we're going to see if it works together at this point. So I'm just going to take it, pull it back a little bit here to get it started, and it should click right up on there, and it did. And you'll notice there's even a notch down here at the bottom for that. Okay, so we've got the 20 pound bottle connected and it is turned on right now. And we'll hit the pilot. And there it goes. Really quick thermocouple on these. You don't really have to hold it hardly at all. We'll go to low. There it goes. Jump it on up to high. Let it warm up a little bit. Like I said, on low you got 4,000 BTUs, medium you got 9, high you got 18,000 BTU. That's a substantial amount of output. And I'm going to kill the lights here so you can see it's starting to glow, giving off that good old infrared heat. It's radiant heat, there's no fan on these, but for heating a, a decent sized area, they do a really good job. Uh, I, I've, I've got a mini split in my shop. But when it gets real cold, mini splits tend to, they got to defrost a lot. They don't keep up very well, depending on the sear, um, the seasonal energy efficiency rating. But these will really warm up a spot if I'm sitting out here at the desk editing video or programming or working on something. This, this does a really good job of just keeping me warm in that one area. But, like I said, I'll throw a link in the description to the hose. I'll throw a link in the description to the heater. And uh, I can't remember what I paid for that hose. It, it wasn't much. I'll look it up real quick while I got you guys on here. I just got it in on the 28th of December. Today is New Year's Eve. It's 12 foot long. It was $33.99 for that hose. And they also have a 24-foot model for $36.99. Uh, I, I didn't really see a point in buying a 24-foot hose, but you're going to get more for your money with the 24-foot hose, considering it's only $3 more. Uh, I, I never see myself having this thing more than 12 feet from my tank, so it's all good. But anyway, we'll go ahead and shut it off here before I bake my camera. And uh, yeah, just... Like, comment, subscribe, let me know what you think. Uh, if there's a benefit to using that other setup that screws in where the one pounds go with the filter and all that, let me know down in the description. I mean, my thought process on this is Mr. Heater designed this this way. They put that quick disconnect in there for a reason, and the hose is available for it. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's how they intended it to be used with uh, something other than the one pound bottles. But I've been wrong before. It wouldn't be the first time. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe. 
take it easy stay warm out there it's it's nice out right now but it, it's going to get cold again and uh yeah peace out youtube